What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Ron P., your host with the most, your favorite podcast host. Got a special guest joining me today. Y'all give it up for my player partner, Jacob Peters in the building. My bad, bro. Hey, appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you for having me. Yes, yes, yes. Long now, overdue, like we talked about. Long overdue. Very long overdue. We were supposed to have been doing this like... A year ago or something. Man, longer than that, I think. Yeah. Yeah, shit. That's what's up, man. I'm glad to have you on the show. Man. Uh... Yeah, before this video start though, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. If y'all listening to this, go on YouTube and subscribe, Ron P Media. And if you're watching this and you just want to listen to the audio, make sure you go to Anchor, Spotify, or Apple Podcasts. Type in Ron P TV, go over there, and you can listen to this podcast, all right? Y'all don't want to just watch the audio. Y'all want to hear the whole thing. Y'all want to see us get this thing turned up, because, man. Yeah, it's going to go down. We talk about me a little bit, but we really need to talk about how uh, how inspiring this man is, is into the community. Me? You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? And that, we need to just make sure that shit, that shit is, uh, you know, that shit is known out there, man. Like, you FG, know what? You know FG, what I, wait, not, not to cut you off, bro, but you know what I really like about you, bro? You're not afraid to give people their flowers while they're alive. They need them. They need them. And that's a, there's a lot of people who don't do that shit. There's a lot of sauce, yeah. sauce stealing motherfuckers out there. Oh yeah. And it's and it's like damn, like you can try to steal my recipe, but you'll never have my sauce. Like no matter mm. what the fuck you're doing. I like that. You're always gonna be adding too much salt. You're always gonna be doing some extra shit. You're never gonna be giving. You know what I'm saying? It's right. Like, and I think that a lot of people, a lot of people really, really, uh, you know, are thankful for your 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 show and. Including myself, you know what I'm saying? Like, this man literally came over, helped me get this crazy software down on, the, on my computer. This was when, like, the podcast was just, like, at a, at a s slow pace. We were just trying to get it up and going. And I remember you came yeah. through, and you did the you did the works for me. And I'm like, man, this shit is, this. you got me right. You got me right. And then it was just, I was trying to t show my wife. I'm like, all right. I think I feel like I need Ron P to be here, you know, when we run this podcast. I done forgot some of this shit. Yeah. I'm like, damn, I don't want to be hitting him up all the time. So it ended up it ended up, you know, coming coming to the point where we ended up, you know, just running it with a with a you know, the basic shit and yeah, but yeah I wanna say uh your your that's podcast, big. your podcast, you in general, you know what I'm saying? I've I found a Becca Baby, McNast, you know, both artists that you put on and I think uh you know what really inspired me is just the way the professionalism you know what i'm saying it's you just you do the shit the right way you know what i'm saying it's, well, thank you brother that see that means a lot that means a lot you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day man uh you're doing your thing too though you know don't don't sell yourself short you like why, hey, you're doing your we, thing man and uh you speaking of podcasts yeah you you got a podcast feeling good you. feeling good podcast make sure feeling. you go check that thing out yeah, yeah. So let's talk about the podcast first. Let's. What well, you, you know? What? Hold on. Before we jump into the podcast, let's let's start back from the beginning. Let's start back from the beginning. Yeah. Who is Jacob Peters? Man, Jacob Peters is a very diverse person, one of one. Okay. I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm still. I'm still. I'm still growing. You know. Still what I'm saying? trying to find. I'm still learning. I'm still growing. You know. Uh, so where you from? Bay City, born, born and raised, raised. Born, born and raised. raised. Okay. Bay City Central alumni in this thing. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It's, it's funny I'm wearing this second one. Yeah. Anyway, shouts out to Bay City. Hey, it's but 989, yeah. though. It's not yeah, 989. You know what I'm saying? But see, back in the day, I don't know if you remember this. Back in the day, Saginaw's area code used to be 517. Nah, I don't remember that. It used to be 517 back in the day, and then they changed it to 989. But Lansing is also 517 as well. 989 reaches like all the way out to like Harrison. Oh, see, I ain't know how far it stretched, but I just yeah. remember I remember when Saginaw used to be uh, 989, which is crazy. That's great. When, yeah. what, what, when was that? Like the 80s, 90s? I, I was a kid, so it was like early 90s. So, yeah, let's jump back into the podcast thing or whatever. So, uh, what's the name of the podcast again? Uh, Feeling Good Podcast. Feeling Good Podcast. Yep, yep. What made you want to start a podcast? Man, honestly, like like I said, it was you was you inspired me. You know what I'm saying? Like I was I was inspired by the way you 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 did it. You know what I'm saying? Like it hmm. was you show people you show. I feel like in just you know an hour interview or a 30 minute interview, just how important these people really are. You know what I'm saying? Like because mm -hmm. there's a lot of people out there that ain't getting the support. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. And I don't know what's going on out there with that, but the lack of support is just insane. But you know what? The the, the biggest thing with my podcast, what I focus on. You know, whether you're an artist, whether you're a magi magician, whether you're a nine to five worker, when you come on my show, I want to showcase personality. I think because people don't support because they really don't know the person. They just know what they do. Right. You know, so a lot of people know that I'm a quote unquote rapper or artist. That's all they see. But then when, when I allow you to know me, 
and, and you talk to me and see my personality, then people will gravitate more like, oh, he's it's, he's more than an artist. He he has, you know what I'm saying? So I think that when people come on the show, I like to showcase, you know, like, hey, yeah, he's a rapper, but this guy is actually intelligent. Oh, yeah. You know, shouts out to Bankroll G. I had him on the show. And people don't know he went to college. Right. He, he graduated college. He played he played college ball and everything. But because he's a rapper, you just look at like he probably can't read or something. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that, it's, it's about personality showcasing. That, that misconception is definitely out there. I think I think it's just being educated. You know what I'm saying? Just, right. Just having that education. Right. Like, hey, like this shit's art. You know, like not every not every artist not every artist is gonna paint you a picture of blood and guts and gory. You right. Know what I'm saying right. some some shit might be beautiful and sweet. You know what I'm saying? And you know there there might be different melodies to that. You know, but I think all, all up and down the board, like like you said, you know, like people really just need to see both sides of the story. What is the goal with your podcast? What is the message or what is the end goal that you're trying to uh, uh, do with your podcast? I mean, in a sense, we already doing it. Uh, mainly, this the goal is just to create a create a platform you know where there's support you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and it, it might not it might just be you know like me sharing your music video but i'm gonna I'm give you like my honest thoughts about it i'm gonna critique it you know i'm gonna tell you yeah. like i'm gonna tell you where it could you know where it could have been better i'm gonna tell you how fire it is i'm gonna tag world star if i think that shit's fire enough you know what right. i'm saying like i'm gonna try to gas it so up so you you build it based on just support just support just yeah support that's what's up you know it's like a lot of people you know like i feel there's a lot of people doing doing things and they aren't publicized it isn't it isn't it isn't it admired it isn't people aren't giving their roses like you said right they're not giving the roses it's like fuck it i'm call me speedway everybody gets gas and you get your flowers on the inside when you come in and pay you know yeah, like shit. that's yeah. I, I just you know it's people there's a big lack of that support that's what i was gonna ask you the question is why do you feel there's such a lack of support you know besides people not knowing you I mean, I think that's the biggest thing. Like, people fear what they don't understand, you know, and then everybody's in, quote-unquote, competition with each other. You know, it's just like, and people fear competition Yeah. opposed to using it as a motivation. Prime example is you told me you was doing a podcast. I didn't instantly shut you out like, oh, he doing what I'm doing, so I ain't fucking with him. Blah, blah, blah. What did I do? I pulled up. What, what you need? How can we, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because that shit's rare. It's, it's, it's a lack of confidence within, you know, so I'm confident in myself. So I know that me helping the next person ain't got nothing to do with me because I'm going to yeah. do what I do because I'm confident. And I think people have a lack of confidence, which make them scared to, you know, support each other or whatever, you know, right. and then if just having understanding, you know, People just automatically hear podcasts. He's doing what I'm doing. Well, maybe he's doing a sports podcast. Maybe he's doing music or maybe he's doing, you know, so it just, people just need to have understanding and have confidence within. Yeah. And I think that support would, even in the music, yeah. you know, I'm a recording artist. It's a lot of, you'll be surprised how many people don't rock with me because I'm the competition. It's crazy. No beef at all. Never did nothing to nobody. It's just I'm the competition. Crazy. If you think about it, it's crazy business I'm from a business standpoint. You as an artist are investing yourself to make money, to make hits, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then you step into, you know, you step into the booth and get a feature from someone like you who's actually goes hard, who actually appreciates the game, who appreciates music, who appreciates, you know, what they do. Like your music ain't, you know, like that. Right. You, 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 yeah. you a diverse person myself. Yeah, you know? I'm, I'm an artist. I'm, yeah. I like to, I'm not a rapper. I'm an artist. Right. You know, so yeah, I, you know, but hey, at the end of the day, you know, it's just, that train still got to move though regardless the support or not you know what i'm saying and it's just you know and i just i just want the people who don't support in the beginning don't come around in the end it's kind of like they say uh right you, I, done, I done shared it enough times you know what i'm saying i but don't let you know make a bleed is not a day it's, it's a cartel i don't let you know how many times a, how, how many times do i gotta do it before you finally cartel. read that shit and you, take me serious right you know and it's, that's what i'm saying so like somebody like you you know god willing I, let's say, just say i blow up and whatever i do Somebody like you, I would love to bring along because you owed me nothing to share my music. You owed me nothing to tell me what you, you know what I'm saying? It ain't like I paid you for it or, you know, in exchange favor. So it's genuine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when you say what you say, what is genuine. If you wasn't alone for the ride, don't be there when I park. Right. You know what I'm saying? So somebody like you, like in this guy, and, and again, I owe him nothing to say, just like he owed me nothing. This guy's a real genuine guy. It's all off love, man. You like I said, like, I genuinely appreciate, you know, like, 
you didn't have to do that shit. You was there a couple of days in a row, a couple of days in a row. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it was like. And we still got a lot of work we finna do. You yeah. know what I'm saying? This is just the beginning. I'm back in motion. So you probably see us. He was out of commission for a minute. For a minute. I, I hit him up. I was ready. He was out of commission. He was out of commission. Out of commission. You know what I'm saying? Fuck COVID. Yeah.